Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of the 16 ounce canvas video edition. My name is AJ Kierens and I'm your host here each and every week, give or take, as we do our part to introduce you to the artists and designers from around the world who help bring some of our favorite beers and breweries to life. This week is a double feature. We've got Earl Barrett Holloway and Daniel Birch. They're some of our earliest guests. We had them back uh, in season three and four. They're out of the New York area. Earl does work for Casey BC and Daniel does work for Barrier. They're good friends. We've actually had the opportunity to hang out together in person. We went on a Jimmy's Heritage Radio show and just uh, all around good dudes. So I'm just excited. We're trying to use this new video format to do something different and unique. And it's been real positive. I think this opportunity during the pandemic and, and whatever we're calling this new phase to see people connect and kind of warm up for what's hopefully going to be a, a better year. I know that we're probably a little ways away from all the normal things, but vaccines are rolling out, sleeves are rolling up, and uh, people are getting their shots. So hopefully wherever you are, you are doing well and you are safe. We want to thank you for being a big supporter. Make sure you like and subscribe and share and retweet. Do all that fun stuff. You know, we we really appreciate it. The, the more subscribers and likes we get, I think we get more people to know about us. I'm not really sure. We just keep doing it. We do it for the love and we do it for the great support of our of our 16 ounce canvas community. Remember you can follow us at 16OZ Canvas on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. And of course, now right here on YouTube, we're available on all the major podcast channels. So thank you. Please, if you have a few moments, leave us a review or just click five stars. And it really is just, uh, it's just been really exciting. The fact that we are now about four years in and just really, it's great to catch up with some of these originals and see how they're doing and be able to have that connection and share that with you. So we are just having some fun with this. We'll see how many of our early guests we can get to be part of season 16. So typically we only do a 12 pack, but we're just gonna see if we can keep pushing it and see what we can come up with. So this is episode 183, which also is not a prime number, but it's a double feature. It's a lot of fun. Please make sure that uh Also, we just want to take a quick moment to send our love and thoughts to everybody in the Texas area. I know that things can be a little polarizing at times. I know that we probably have difference of opinions on a lot of things, but the majority of the time, the people that are suffering, the people have no impact, have no part of that. And I know with all the craziness, with the storms and the weather and the power grid, that people in their homes are really being affected. And so I'm hopeful that solutions will be come together and that people will look after each other. If you know somebody in your neighborhood or that is being impacted wherever you are by a storm, especially elderly, knock on their door, ask how you can help. If you have their phone number, give them a call. Still socially distance, wear that mask, be safe, but look out for each other because if we're gonna come together, we have to, you know, start small and it really happens at the local, you know, local level and together, you know, we can, we can make that happen. So with that said, we're going to get into this episode 182, our double feature, Daniel Birch, Earl Holloway, Casey BC, Barrier, some of the landmarks and, you know, stable breweries in, in the New York area. You know, please support local where you can, you know, delivery if they have it, go pick it up curbside. If, you know, if you're feeling comfortable doing it, you know, go have a, have a beer outside and just wherever you can, make sure you're supporting those, you know, local businesses and breweries. Cause like I said, we're getting closer to the end, but they need your love and need your support. So please, 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 please hook it up, help them out. Please do so. Also in the comments, we're going to start putting links to some of our affiliates. You know, if you're looking to do a website, we use Squarespace, love Squarespace, great customer service. If you're looking to do a website, you click on that, you buy a website, you build it, you know, we get a little, you know, little piece of the action. I started to really get myself into, you know, crypto over the last three, four months, learning more about, you know, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Cardano, 
and a bunch of others. So if you have any thoughts on those, please feel free to reach out. We're not even using Kraken. It is the most secure, uh, and it really gives me a little confidence, you know, to do that. It is, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty and unknowns there. So we'll put those links, you know, that you can check it out. If you have any questions, you know, feel free to reach out. And if you are a product or a service that, you know, you think would align well with the 16-ounce canvas, the Art of Craft Beer, reach out. We'll help each other out. A little back scratching. Uh, you know, it won't be burnt an Ernie style in the tub, but, you know, we're here to here to help you out and here to, you know, see what we can do as we continue to, to grow our platform, you know, and grow this project. So, again, use the hashtag 16OZCanvas on Instagram. It's a wonderful community of folks. Some amazing work. And let's get into it. Episode 182, season 16 is rocking hard. Enjoy. Be safe. Nice. What's up, Dan? You looking yeah. good, buddy. Hey, how's it going? Yeah. Oh, I can't, dumb can't even tell. Sorry about, yeah. sorry about my dumb face. <laughs> That's all right. I have, a, I have a nice sense of the face, too. So, yeah. Oh, hold on. Yeah, it's fine. But yeah, so I have here, I have back here, I have like a speaker because over, uh, I don't know if I can show, let me see if I can show this to you. Yeah. Yeah, because I have my, my turntables here. Oh, well, that's a pretty sweet setup, though. I mean, it it's all right there. Well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I just basically have a, like the, the power, like the audio cord, I, I, I can pull it out. Pretty, it's like, like, like you said, clear, I have to clear some stuff out, but. Yeah. And the yeah. and your are you in your panic room right now? Is that what that is, or is that your office? <laughs> my office, spare bedroom, sanity, my happy place. Yeah. It's so all, yeah, everything. Yeah, all inclusive. Yeah. Yeah, I get a little, I have a little Costanza bed underneath, and I'll be all set to go. Nice. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty much my whole place. So like, yeah, you can see the other part right there. So. The pathway into the, yeah, into the future. Yeah, exactly. So yeah, <laughs> on the other side of this screen is, uh, is where all the chaos begins. I gotta get, I got these. I got, I gotta get you guys one of these. I'm at, like, I'm a very oh, nice, nice. Uh, yeah, hologram. Yeah. Perfect for my bicycle. Uh, nice and reflective. Yeah, I yeah. Put on the back. I covered, I covered the apple on my Mac. I felt very like, I felt yeah. weird about doing it actually. Like, oh. Do that. <laughs> I, I'm actually doing some stickers for a new um, hot sauce brand today. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, Five one six. Yeah, this yeah the... it's really, oh. really good, really good sauce. Uh, it, it's actually uh, produced by uh, Hell's Kitchen. Like he, 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 uh, he cooks it all uh, commercially. But it, it's this other guy's company um, who's like a, a, a police detective, and uh, so it's like somewhat based on like crime and i don't know whatever um so the first one was top secret truffle um but it used to be pepper spray he's not telling you <laughs> <laughs> it tastes like bear maze no 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 it's not bear <laughs> no 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 we, we, we're all out of that yeah so how, so how are you guys doing i'm glad you guys could uh could join us and make this happen so i'm pretty excited yeah 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 it's great you guys um, are both, yeah. We're pretty, we're, what I realized is, and I think Dan might have been the last one, so I apologize. But like in episode 50, I started like a friend helped rebrand and like come up with like a template. And so I thought that was when like we started to get a little, little better with things. And so I'm trying to go with like the first, the early guests that kind of, uh, cause I always hate that you guys don't have those little black and green uh, graphics. So it's kind of a way to make up for that. <laughs> Yeah, yeah I, 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 was I was so my, pissed. I was so that's how my head works. Yeah, I, thought, I think I, I, think, I think yours, Dan, was like the first one I tried to do on my own. And it, you were like Dan Jetsa, and it's like terrible. So yeah, yeah. Not now, I'm much better. Yeah, uh, yeah. Those are those are the old the old West days for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Exactly. Yeah. Who would have thought? We're almost yeah. We're at four years. Almost four years now. So it's kind of mm -hmm. cool. yeah. Congratulations, man. You're you're approaching. Yeah. You're creeping up on five. I made it in USA Today, and they said I was an expert, so I'm pretty much ready to, ah, ready to go. Yeah, wow. Well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The, ten, yeah the, the label and designs of the year. I'm a judge, I guess. So, yeah. 
I'm going to call oh, yeah. an expert. Yeah. Look at me. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, so basically, I mean, this is it. Like there's nothing special to this. Like we're just going to catch up and, you know, see how you guys are doing. And what I like about, you know, the two of you is like, we all kind of met together and, you know, you have a, a kind of like a little collective that you guys support each other. And so I thought it'd be kind of a cool way to, to do it and just, yeah, to see how it was adapting and, you know, what's new. Sure. Yeah. Dan, you want to, you want to go first? I mean, go ahead, write it out. You guys, you gotta, uh, <laughs> like, I mean, things have mostly stayed the same. I made a little bit less money last year, but you know, that's <laughs> to be expected from 2020. Uh, but like, luckily, like people are still drinking beer and a lot of people have, you know, the, uh, it, it's it's all cans now, so um, or bottles. But unfortunately, there's the, the can shortage, which uh, affected Barrier like a couple weeks. Like uh, there was like a couple weeks where we were using our pre-printed uh, pre-printed uh, money cans, and but we're not doing that. I don't know how we got more cans, but uh, luckily that's not affecting us right now. Um, but like the the new brand that I worked for, Ho River, that's all bottles, so didn't affect them. Um, but yeah, I, I don't know. how do you like, like doing bottles? How do you like doing bottles? I mean, I started uh, with Barrier. I was doing uh, nothing but bottles at first. So yeah, I think I saw I, yeah one of the like the the guitar one. I think that's like the bass guitar. Yeah, Axel Axel was was the first first label uh, I did, and I I still love that label. Um, I actually have two friends' initials on there because uh, they helped me with that. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like, luckily, luckily things are okay. Yeah. Like, okay, it's pretty like it's like a weighted average. Like, wait, okay, and this is like <laughs> fucking amazing. But yeah. Oh, well, I, I, I've been I mean, I also, like, I'll take it. I, I also met a, uh, uh, a great woman like right before the lockdown and that also really helped out and um i got my dog last year so he's helped yeah, out yeah. a lot uh to to stave off the the madness you got arts and crafts <laughs> like uh can art wall paper behind you so that was yeah part I, of your I mean legos just, talk about legos <laughs> yeah i mean all the legos are everywhere there. Oh, nice. That, that's, that's all I've Let's been see up here. doing. Uh, Legos. See that's my Lego uh, Volks, yep. uh, Volkswagen bus. Nice. I, I, I've, I've been, I've been looking for that one, and also the, uh, the Beetle. It was, a, it was like two, it was like two ish days. Of, I thought the kids were gonna help me, and they were no help. <laughs> I like went all out, like took over the dining room, and then finally it was like they kind of wanted to help with the end, and they felt bad, and I was like, no, I, was like, I got this. <laughs> So that was kind of relaxing, actually. Yeah, uh, my, my girlfriend and I, uh, we just started doing Legos. She had never done a Lego kit, and I hadn't done them for years. Uh, and I was just thinking of something else to do, like, during this pandemic, and then got hooked. <laughs> just been doing that, playing uh, Ascension, which is sort of like, it's like a dumbed-down version of Magic, uh, okay. basically. And then, um, like a lot of flux games, there's like we got Doctor Who flux and Star Trek flux and uh, Firefly. So that's been yeah. <laughs> just, what's flux? What's flux? It's uh, it's this card game. Uh, the, the rules constantly change and the goals constantly change. Hence the name flux. Oh, um, but it's it's really good. The, I'm no Doctor Who fan. My my girlfriend is. But I have to say the Doctor Who Flux is the best one so okay. far that I've played. But there's like 20, 30 different kinds. Hmm. All right. How are you, Earl? How are we doing? We interrupted you, but you're you're rocking out some some clash, but yeah. Oh yeah. Um yeah, it's uh it's uh relatively relatively well, like all things considered. Um I definitely like I got sick early. Um, so I got like, I think I got COVID like three days before St. Patrick's Day. So 
pretty early. Uh, so that was fun. And then um, KCBC, like, sort of, well, like, according to me anyway, I'm not, you know, like, I'm not at the brewery all the time. I have no idea, like, logistically what went on, but, like, they seem to transition pretty quickly to delivery. Um, and that worked out well. Uh, they were on Caviar, uh, and then they started just delivering directly to uh, to their buyers uh, throughout uh, throughout pretty much every borough, like just giant sections of it, like Brooklyn and, and Queens and stuff like that. So that that seemed to do really well. Um, and yeah, like like Dan like Daniel was saying, like um, um, not like it not like not that it didn't apply earlier, but the face of the brewery really kind of did become the labels. Um, uh, which which was kind of interesting to see. Like I, I definitely saw like more uh, more people responding to the label art overall during that time. And um, uh, KCBC also acquired like a giant cold room um, months ago and have kind of like uh, m moved over there and their inventory has expanded. And um, I'm pretty sure, I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure they're getting ready to go regional. Um, and I'm not hundred percent sure what that means in terms of which direction they'll go, like in terms of uh, like North, South, East, West. But uh, I would, I would assume a little bit bigger of a footprint um, in New York state in general. Um, I think yeah, also we started, the, the we still, we have, yeah, we get them KCBC in Connecticut. Uh, yeah. So that's been kind of cool. And, nice. and I think, and I think, I think you showed me that you didn't show me the actual space, but when we met at the brewery, was it was across the street that you're talking about. It was, yeah, yeah, it was across the street, yeah, yeah right know. across the street, yeah. <laughs> Haven't killed those brain cells, so I've got yes, work to do. that's a nice, nice little diagonal, diagonal 45, 45 yeah, right degree across, yeah. shot, fork truck shot across the street, yeah. So like, like, like next to the uh, to that uh, art space, the art gallery. Um, headed towards, like headed, uh, headed away from the main street, um, like headed, headed back down towards, um, headed, headed back down towards like Broadway. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, they're like, again, I don't know about logistics or anything like that or timing or anything, but it seems like, um, they're just, they're like, they're brewing way more beer. Um, yeah. Like than they yeah, were before. Yeah, it, sure. it doesn't seem like it's really slowed down for you. Like for me, like I, I mean, I did do like twelve labels uh, at the beginning of this year, just so we can like un uh, uh, like show uh, clients like our whole portfolio. Um, but like it's been pretty quiet. I mean, th there there is a collab we're working on right now uh, with Sand City and Interboro, uh, which the the all connect. And I just I just saw Interboros today, and it looks pretty sweet as Interboros uh, usually does. And uh, can't wait to see uh, Sand Cities. Uh, unfortunately, he got lost in the shuffle. Uh, Bobby gave me his email, and it was wrong. He was missing beer at the end, so he missed all the emails. So he, he got a, a later start. Like, uh, dude, but, why are you uh, responding? Like, what, why are you so yeah, quiet? Yeah, I was like, like this guy. Is come on, where was this guy? Uh, but I mean, it's understandable, like Bobby like passed out and like hit his head and like came back to the hospital and people like he woke up and like people around him thinking he's dead, like just crazy. Uh, I don't think it was COVID related, thankfully, but uh, I'm not sure. Like I, I unfortunately I haven't uh, had too much contact. So, um, but yeah, <laughs> just it's been crazy. Yeah, that sounds crazy. Everybody's yeah, okay? Gonna, uh, yeah, like a, pretty much everybody I know is okay. Um, there have been there have been like uh, some people who have gotten COVID. Um, I do know some people uh, who died, but like not directly, so that's good. Um, I'm happy that no one I know directly was killed. Um, so yeah, just. <laughs> Kind of like kind of kind of plugging away in this like new plugging away in this new world where i like i uh i feel like this mode of living might actually suit me better um which is 
makes me feel really bad because <laughs> you know like uh it's kind of like, like it's kind of like ruined it's yeah. it's like ruined a lot of things but at the same time like Sorry. i feel a little less stressed out uh because i don't feel like obligated necessarily to like uh to interact in the ways that i wasn't really into before all this so yeah, i'm sure yeah. that'll wear off though like you yeah, know my wife's it's, like only of, it's only a matter yeah. my yeah. wife can be a little introverted at times she's like i didn't plan this like for this moment my whole life like you know what I mean? yeah she's like this is this is kind of like this is the dream yeah. like I was, I like, was made yeah. for this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like I got, I got 20 years of training. Like, bring it on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah li life hasn't changed too drastically. Well, that's good. Yeah. I mean, I think it's good. Like, yeah, especially some of those new things in your life that, I mean, a dog, my, my kids can't watch this because they'll see your dog and want, we're in like dogs, like defense mode right now. I, I'll probably lose eventually, but I'm going to hold out for a few more months, I think, because I know who's going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting. It's like, well, dad will be home during the day working. Yeah. It's like, dad does not yep. want it. Yeah, dad is not in this equation. I, I mean, I, it, it's definitely helped my state of mind because uh, I, I, before I got the dog, I, I would get pretty heavy seasonal depression, but haven't really gotten it since since I got him. Um, so he's pretty good. That's great. What kind of, what kind of dog? He, he's a, uh, he's a, a Yorkie. Uh, oh, look at that. Yeah. Uh, rescued him uh, at Best Friends NYC. And, and he's a he's a thoroughbred. Like I just like walked in randomly on a Wednesday, and there he was. So, were you planning to get a dog, or you just kind of like? I, I was idea. planning just to look. Like I was going to go in that yeah, Friday. Not, but they not had any of those places. Yeah, they, they had free day on Fridays. So I was like, oh, I'll just wait till Friday. But then I saw him like, oh, you probably won't be around for two more days. So I just, I forked the money over. <laughs> yeah, we've got cats and they're, they're going to live to be like 25. They're just not going to go away. I just know they're going to, they, we don't get along very well anymore. I think, I think they're kind of sick of me too. So we'll see what happens. So anything, anything new, like you're, or you're kind of saying like you're getting used to it. Is there anything like new with your process? Do you guys find that you're drawing more because you have more, more time or do you not have, are you trying to get new pro other projects? Like what's, what's day to day like? Um, so I feel like uh, what's happened to, what's happened to me is, um, um, I, this might be like a, this might be like a confluence of like a bunch of things like, uh, Maybe things have stabilized um, because, as you know, small you know small companies have to. Everybody's got to wear ten hats when they're when they're working at the brewery, especially in the physical plant. So, you know, your day could be brewing and fork truck driving and like checking on sales and making sure things are getting ready to be shipped out correctly the next day. So, as, as a result of that waning, um, I feel like the production schedule has sort of uh, settled down. Um, it used to be a little bit more like the needle would be all over the place because of, uh, being able to collaborate with other breweries. So like, Hey, you know, uh, uh, X, Y, and Z is going to be in town. And actually we have the ability to brew a beer. So, uh, we're going to stop doing everything else and you're going to switch over to doing, you know, like, so that's kind of, that's been like wrangled a little bit better. So the production schedules, uh, a little bit more tame, uh, which does open the door for working, on the labels a little bit more not slower but like more acute, like more of an acute attention like to that label as opposed to trying to figure out like well what's going to be what's going to be the rush is it going to be you know is it going to be uh, uh another beach zombie label or is it going to be another brain on hops label oh those got switched around shit so now i have to like speed through the one that i didn't finish yet um, stuff like that. And then also, I think, um, since they've grown a little larger, I feel like the owners are starting to wear less hats um, in general, which I think is probably good for everybody because now the person, people just have the ability to pay a little bit more, like closer attention to like what they actually should be doing as opposed to what they should be doing. Plus, you know, the other 10 things that they really shouldn't be handling you know so 
Yeah, it's that kind of like, like the, first, the first couple of years of a small business. If you can get over that hump, then that's really when you can kind of stretch out a little bit. But yeah, I can, I can see that. Like, I can't hire somebody. I'll, I'll do this. I'll do that. I'll do that. And you can hire somebody. It's like, oh, take a little off of here. I can focus even more on. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, there's like a little bit of like um, letting go of the baby sort of a thing. Yeah. Like, Daniel, I don't know if you deal with like you're, I don't know if Barrier does this, but like they're, there was like a little bit of a, uh, like this feeling of like, well, I don't really want to like, uh, you know, I can't really let go of that because I've been doing it for so long. And I feel like that's sort of slipping away a little bit. And um, I like, sometimes I talk to the owners and they're like, man, I just wish I could, I could just wish I could brew beer again <laughs> <laughs> because they just, you know, they have these senior brewers now and, business is business. So you, you have to go pay attention to the things that you're like, didn't start out as, you know, when you were, when you were a small brewery. So uh, I feel like that's a growing thing for them too. Like that's a challenge for them, like how they're going to, how they're going to assume those new roles and like what that means. And, you know, um, I, I, I suppose you could potentially start asking yourself, well, I got into brewing beer because I love to brew beer, but now I don't brew beer anymore. So what the hell, you know, like, I, um, I'm, I'm sure that's something that's come up in their minds, like as they've gotten, uh, as they've expanded and become a little larger, you know, turned more into management as opposed to like right. physical plant brewery operators, you know? Yeah. Yeah. It's like another tier of being a grown up, and I always say being a grown up sucks. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Responsibilities. Oh, no. Yeah. Exactly. How about you, Dan? Any any uh, any new cool things? You I mean I know you work in some other projects, uh, uh, like uh, the hot sauce and stuff. Trying to do the playing cards that I started like six years ago, mm -hmm. um, but it's like whenever I, it, it, it's so hard to like that they're like more than halfway done. They've been more than halfway done for years. It's just like getting over that last less hump like one suit is really intensive and it's based on on sirens of titan by uh, by uh, vonnegut jr uh and because there's like a lot of double characters so i was like oh man that'd be sweet so i gotta go back through my notes on those because it's been it's been years since i did the research on like the uh, how to draw them so, uh, but I, I came up with new card backs recently for them. So they'll be completely different than my first edition, which came out years ago. Um, and I pretty much just give those to like fans now. Like I don't sell them anymore. Um, I made my money back years ago. So it's like, they're, I'm not like particularly, I, I don't love them anymore. Like they're fine. Um, you but the second day, let it go free, right? Is that something yeah? Like <laughs> but I, I mean, like, I still play poker with them. Um, but they're, they're, uh, you know, just like anything else, like artistic, uh, you, you get better and you just, you just see all the flaws. So, yeah, it's like, uh, you liken it to like you cook a really delicious meal, you know, and then you're like, oh. Uh, I don't want to eat that anymore because <laughs> like, I'm kind of tired of like dealing with it, <laughs> <laughs> making it and making sure it's, you know, you sort of like lose your appetite. Um, yeah. so yeah, it's, it's interesting you bring that up because, um, I've, I've, I've started to dig through like older projects and it's the same deal. Like I, I'm just like, Oh, look at how weak that is. <laughs> oh, that's, that's what I was doing then. That, that's pretty, you know. It doesn't it, like uh, maybe maybe not even to the point where um, maybe not even to the point where it looks like somebody else did it necessarily, but like you just kind of know you could do so much better, and then you're like, well, yeah. do I do I take a step back from what I do now to make it look consistent, or do I just have it look wonky because it's better, you know? So yeah, that's <laughs> something that comes up for sure. <clears throat> oh, I, I I love the 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 new label uh, with. With the, uh, I, I noticed the uh, Army of Darkness reference with the uh, with the bone, uh, bone dude. The bone, the bone playing the flute. Yeah, uh, but it's like I was a like, yeah. Nice. I dig it. 
yeah that was a that was a fun one i you know like um as as a kid my age like the top of the mountain for a long time uh was like jason and the argonauts skeleton skeletons by uh by ray harryhausen so as a kid you're just like waiting forever you know like oh there's gonna be a time that's kind of psycho there's gonna be a time where i'm gonna be able to draw skeletons like for for some for a client you know so i'm just like yeah come on this is the moment (laughs) yes especially beer right now like skeletons are like what's selling (laughs) yeah skeletons are the i don't know skeletons are the blank of like you know I'm not really sure what the analogy would be, but like, yeah, like super. Know, like the hop of the hop characters, like now. This, that, yeah, yeah. That was, I that mean, the, a... there's just so many like metal uh, artists like that are doing just beer labels now. Mm-hmm. Like um, the guy who took over the reins at, at Alewife, uh, uh, Selden Selden Hunt, uh, awesome stuff. Uh, he he was he was a metal dude. Uh, I think he still does um, uh, metal stuff. Um, and then, uh, yeah, you, you got Nightmare Brewing, although I haven't seen any stuff from them in a, in a bit, but, you know, it's also been locked down. Um, well, I think they the want, shit. they have a new, they, have, I think they, they had to get a new artist, I think, Nightmare, right? They, yeah, I think if I remember correctly. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, def, uh, I can't remember his name, it escapes me now, but def, Defame, Defame Art, I think is the name of his company, the artist. Um, I, I do believe, not sure exactly why, but like, um, I think he, yeah, he's moved on to other projects at this point. Uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah, there was. Um, that makes sense. I mean, yeah. there was some uh, anti Semitic kind of art he posted on his Instagram. I think it caused some issues. Hey. Like Nazi, like oh, boy. Thing. Okay. I, I didn't know about that. <laughs> yeah. So there we go. That's um, not great. Yeah. <laughs> No, it was really, <clears throat> it got a lot of like, and then they, they parted ways. And so, but he had some stuff in the past. It was like, uh, it's probably a good move. It was probably like comparing good. the Soros's or and Hillary Clinton to the Nazis, I think. Something like oh that. boy. So, oh, you gotta, you gotta get fluoride in the water in those places. I don't know. <laughs> it was like, uh, I don't know what's happening. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, so, man. wow. It was, uh, yes, that was definitely. <clears throat> definitely an interesting yeah one and so uh yeah we're gonna think we're gonna try to have uh like talk about metal i think get david paul seymour back on hopefully so he's uh i love his stuff and so it's been yeah it's been fun got some graffiti artists hopefully next season so it's yeah it's it's super i mean it's great i mean look at more cans means more labels and it's been pretty cool to see that and yeah there's been some there's been pretty yeah one of my favorites is the the fuck 2020 label from sam heimer and uh abomination i don't know how they got past the tv you know the you know the trade they must have just had been dialed it in or they were defunded and it was just kind of like a, well you know, i, I mean the through. tdb doesn't really like they won't come after you like they don't care like, they won't say like you can put fuck on the label though? i didn't know you could do that oh 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 the, the, uh, it says well, fuck yeah, 2020 that, 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 I, like, that i don't know <clears throat> that they, pro- they probably didn't uh pass it then no, because this isn't stores. Like you, it's not just brewery only. Yeah, because I, 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 I mean, I know Josh over there. Breweries don't always said, go through TDB. Like yeah, because they said the, they made one. They made one that said "fuck," and they had one that had like the "at" and like you know, like wow. kind of like you would expecting it to get canceled, and it it didn't. So I mean, I don't know. Yeah, wow. they were shocked. It was kind of like, uh, like, yeah, like uh, here, you here you go. Try this. Right. It was like it came back. They're like sweet. Yeah. What's that old I, adage? I know uh, which, which one you're talking about now? Ask, ask for, ask for forgiveness instead of permission. It's permission. always yeah, easier. That's, kind of, that's how I live my life. Yeah, it's kind of like yeah. Because I always who said like, yes to this? What the hell's going on? I don't know. Sorry, uh, I didn't know we could do that. You, know? you didn't I, say I know, no. You didn't say yeah. no. Like, I, I, I know garage, uh, garage Project in New Zealand did the same thing, but they did it with a sticker, so like it didn't curse on the one in the store until you pulled off that sticker. So oh, I like that. how, yeah. that's how they got around it. But yeah. <laughs> yeah, people got creative. I, I I was shocked. I was like, cool. But yeah, so then, yeah. So yeah, but it's been fun. I think it's a good time. I mean, people, there's so many 
it's kind of crazy. There's still a good amount of breweries that are popping up. Like it's, it's kind of wild actually. Like I, that wouldn't be my first pandemic business plan is to open a brewery. But <laughs> Yeah. Uh, a, a new brewery just opened up. Um, it, it used to be a, a small, a super small place, uh, Torch and Crown, like that brewer. I mean, actually both those brewers uh, started breweries one last year, wild East, and then a new one, I think it's endless brewing. Uh, he just opened okay. up like, this this year so yeah i feel like that process it, to get it started is like two years 18 months so I've, it was probably already in place in like 18 19 yeah 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 i i think like, AOY fuck, can't stop finally the now. Is, is up and running uh but we're still not they're still not producing beer from that facility just yet so yeah. and that's been going for two three years now so okay you guys enjoying any, I mean, you guys get deliveries kind of a thing now in, in New York, right? So you guys get enjoying any good beers? What, what's going on? Um, I have the good fortune of living near uh, a bar called Covenhoven. Um, that is, uh, I'd say it's like a 15 minute bike ride from my house. So it's not super close, but like. Super solid. The, the draw, yeah, the draw is, the draw is real, you know, um, they're, they always just have like a, uh, it's run by this dude named Tom, who's like, just clearly very good at what he does. And um, the, the guy just has pretty good beer on tap all the time. And it's it's a, a fairly good, a fairly large amount, but not an overwhelming amount. It's kind of like right in that little sweet spot where like, oh yeah, this is really, this is probably very fresh beer that's on, mm -hmm. on tap here. Uh, and then um, has just an excellent can and bottle, uh, selection as well um so i've been that's kind of been my my uh that's been my away station for sure um before but also like 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 when covid really broke um he's got like an outdoor area where you can sit and stuff like that and um it's in the back so the wind is sort of held at bay uh for the most part um uh, and yeah just like really solid place to go get beer so i've been drinking a lot of uh, well, I've been drinking a lot of beers, um, just like variety stuff, but, uh, like the standout for me always, for some reason is, um, I just cannot get enough of, uh, zero gravity's green state. Um, and I, I know that might be like a little bit of a basic bitch beer for somebody in new England, but like, um, it's a little bit of a rarity to see it, um, in other places. So yeah. I always, I always grab that beer when I'm there for sure. That's always like in my, that's in my basket, like every single time for sure. Yeah. My go-to has been uh, Celebration from Sierra. I, mm. Just every, oh, yeah. every year. That, that so good. But that's like pretty much the only non-local one I'm buying right now. <laughs> yeah. I did sober. I did like dry January again. And so I was kind of, that was, I had some athletic, athletic brewing. And then a few places, to, we don't have as many delivery options, but like just to get out of the house, like Fox Farm is like 45 minutes, 50 minutes maybe longer. I'm really bad at spatial and like time, but just like a nice drive with like listening to like music. And so they, they don't even get out of the car. So it's kind of like anticlimactic. You get away in like nice part of Connecticut, but you know, I don't know, just to be able to listen to like an album, like front to back and on a long drive is pretty great. So I'll take that. <clears throat> and they do really nice. great, like clean, like good Pilsners and like Kolsch's and like lager beers, which has been, I've been, mm. I've been enjoying those a little more over, over this. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're talking my language with those beers for sure. Um, the other creeper for me that I didn't realize I liked so much, uh, I just didn't realize that I liked a uh, really well made box until recently. Um, I just must have been something that I, I whiffed like really early or something, or just never had a, never like had a pretense to pick a, a bottle up or something i'm not really sure what happened but like yeah i just i really kind of got into those uh late summer early fall um both on tap and, and bottle yeah that was another one that really kind of did it for me yeah, yeah it's kind of nice because like you don't really go anywhere anymore i don't have to worry about like oh usually the, the question is should i have another one it's usually like all right no you know worst case is uh 
Yeah. I'm already in my slippers, so <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Yeah, right. Just like, the commute you know. is great. Yeah, it's like, yeah. <laughs> like I had two I'll beers last night. I started to get a headache, and I was like, I was like, you can't get a hangover while you're awake, can you? And I was like, nah, nah, it's just like that's something else. Yeah, we'll just keep you over fine. I l- luckily, like I, I'm in Bay Ridge, and luckily, uh, like ten minutes down the street is uh, Big Al's uh, bar- Barrel House, so like I'll, I'll get drink uh, beers there and stuff and there's like also just like distilleries there the, like there's a sake place there and stuff they're all so good like everything there's like a, a, a these ginger uh i think it's barrows uh they they do like ginger liqueurs like uh they, they have a moonshine uh ginger which is right up my alley it's that like super good. spite yeah. super alcoholic uh, that's dangerous yeah oh yeah it's yeah. it's Great for your stomach, though. Exactly what I want. Yeah, yeah. I I, I love love spicy like ginger and yeah. like they're like one of the first like places that I've found that's like it's properly spicy. Like finally, like alcoholic ginger. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah that sounds good. It's been nice. When I get sick, I'll get that. Like, the, was it the ginger ale and like pretzels? I'm like, all right. Oh yeah, yeah, totally. <laughs> so what happened? Yeah, like, yeah. oh, I'm just trying to get better. Yeah. Yeah, you're drunk. That's not gonna help for cold. Yeah, yeah. I had that whole thing like, there's two times I have ginger ale in life: when I'm on a plane, and when I'm sick. But yeah, it's kind of uh, it, it's opened up recently, uh, with ginger, for sure. Like in my in dishes and in, in more food dishes and stuff like that. Yeah. Oh, I I, uh, I know all the best ginger beers. I <laughs> like I, I I brewed a really good one like, like years ago, and. If I ever brew anything again, it'll probably be my ginger beer. Mm-hmm. Uh, like I've always just, I love spicy, spicy ginger beer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I really, uh, yeah, the, the, the alive, like it obviously is imaginary, but like sometimes when I have something that's like that, where it's like really like super spicy ginger, I can like, I swear I can feel the ghost of my skull suture, like kind of like tingling like oh <laughs> that's a really deep you know that's a deep that's a deep drink you know yeah like I, I i feel like there's like a part of you that kind of like gets like a little love from uh from something like like a liquid that's hot like a like a spicy liquid really kind of makes it in fast you know i mean it's it's just so lovely because like it, it gives you it gives you spice and then when it's alcoholic it gives you it gives you that too and yeah. and it just yeah it, it it it's easy on the stomach. Like you big ghost, you big ghost it's, it's guy like <laughs> <laughs> No, no more waking up in bank parking lots without any clothes on for me. <laughs> yeah, I did have like a spicy martini one time. It was like like jalapeno, like something infused, and that was that was way better than I thought it was going to be. Like it was mm-hmm. awesome. It was, it was like a spicy vodka mm-hmm. or something, but yeah, that was pretty good. So, uh, not to derail us or anything, but um, what have right. what have you Good what have intro. you been up Good. to? I, what what have you been Good up intro, to? Because I know yeah. <laughs> I know you went through like a. It sounds like you kind of went through like a transitional phase, or like you like you moved. Uh, you went from one job to another, or like one form of work to another, like over, like right in the midst no, of I, COVID. No, I I am uh, I do. I'm on a board, so like I, I got people got thought I started a new job. I just joined another board of directors for uh, my like nine to five industry. It's like it's called the Insights Association, and it's with the, for the Market Research Association. And I'm the president of the New York chapter. So I see. Yeah, so that was good. And uh, then I, the work I'm doing with beer culture. So yeah, it's been uh, it's been good to kind of focus you know a lot on that during this. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I just, uh, I don't know, like I, co- like COVID kind of like made it a thing where uh, if people, I don't know, like if people didn't really, if people didn't, um, if if I didn't hear from somebody from a while, for a while, I, I was always like, oh, well, you're, that's like, I, I kind of feel that, like that's your, this is going to be your response to, to what's going on. Um, uh, like that's one, I guess that's like one, one response. Like I, I did reach out to some people that I hadn't spoken to in a while. 
Um, maybe reconnected with some very old friends. Um, I had friends who moved uh, from one part of the country to the other, like during COVID and stuff like that. So, uh, all my it's friends always, moved to Socrates, New York. Really? <laughs> like three three sets of friends, like all like ten minutes away from each other. So. What's going on up there? Interesting. Uh, yeah, hippies, I, I guess. <laughs> I, I mean. <laughs> I'll be on the way. Yeah, it sounds good. Oh well, yeah, that's one. I guess that's one thing you could. Yeah, you could. You could move for hippies for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Interesting. I feel like I'm. I feel I would, like I'm a hippie, but like not fully. Like I, I like the. <laughs> some, I feel it. Like the extreme of it would just be a little much for me. Like the ideals, but then kind of. I think it would just go too extreme. Like I, I consider myself like a hippie, you know, businessman, I guess, or a hippie capitalist, yeah. or something like you know, a, like a hippie moderate. Yeah, like, no, I, I'm full in, but, like, there's just some things I don't think I could, like, I would still need to be, like, dressed, and, like, I could, I don't love, like, being dirty, like, I, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. And, and that's, like, a stare, but, like, I couldn't have, like, 10 of us in, like, a shack, like, I couldn't. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, I grew up in San Francisco, so I have a, there is, like, a level of, there's, like, a level of, like, familiarity, but also tinged with, like, a little disdain for certain parts yeah, of the culture. I, I would, like, I would like, like, I communal, like, dinners and sharing yeah. and like looking out for each other but like yeah i don't want to yeah i don't want to have like a mess hall or like you know all sharing yeah yeah totally yeah well, not, i mean not... all, all these friends are like designers and illustrators so mm. yeah see, that's what i mean like the kind of the corporate hippie i like that yeah like, the creative yeah. like good energy but, folk, yeah but some of them own, own chickens and stuff so like... i'm fine with that that's I'm <laughs> not, like that's what i'm saying like i'm not full i'm just like not full like tilt where it's like <laughs> Like, but I'm down for, yeah, we, we have our own vegetable garden. We grow our own vegetables here. I say we, my wife, uh, and yeah, a friend of ours has chickens. So we get eggs and my wife makes bread so that like we barter. So that's pretty, you know, pretty nice. uh, old school. Oh, hell her, yeah. Her, what you, her sourdough. I've been growing peppers. What are you growing in the winter? Uh, not, I mean, we got crushed with snow here, so nothing really. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think yeah. we'll start, I think we'll probably hopefully start in the next couple of weeks. She'll. I think she was looking at peppers maybe because they're pretty resilient so i think mm -hmm. were, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I brought mine inside and they, they've been they've been okay but they definitely yeah. flourish outside yeah yeah it was awesome we got like like that was again that was a COVID thing we got these like nice wood installments because we basically figured any of the money we would have spent going places like let's do that so we like hire a local shop they like they build it to you know to spec it was pretty it was kind of cool like to help a local business too oh nice oh oh um I heard today that Jimmy's 43 may be opening. Um, like oh, uh, it, it closed in 2017. So it didn't close because of, of COVID uh, for anyone not in the know. But uh, I, I thought that was that was great. Um, and he, he hosts um, uh, beer sessions. That's mm -hmm. thing, Jimmy. Oh, yeah, uh, yeah I, um, I, I just uh, because I was uh, I was it was such a peripheral thing for me. Like, I think I, I think I, well, I met you actually at, yeah, at his bar. Yeah, at his bar. You met at Jimmy's 43, that's right. Yeah, and um, I was like, oh, this place seems pretty cool. And then, like, I don't know, what was it, five months afterwards, he, yeah, he closed or something? Like and then I was like, oh, no, is he, like, sick or something? Or, you know, I just didn't, real, I didn't realize what was going on. Um, yeah. So, yeah, that's actually not surprising, but that's, I mean, that's great news. That is it the same location? I, I believe so because he, he wow. uh, I, I only know because he posted a picture on Instagram today and yeah. there was like a big uh, like wood structure over the entrance way. Yeah. And, and he said, Jimmy's 43 returning dot 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 question mark. And I was like, okay, let's do this, Jimmy. Um, do you remember I don't the know how that, that would work though? Because it's under. Yeah. Yeah. Right. But it is a big space. So. Yeah, it gets it gets really big on the inside. You don't really you you can't see it from the street. I yeah. mean, it goes it goes back deep. Yeah, for it's sure. a huge space. Does um have you been in the area recently? The remember the building that blew up from natural gas that it like just destroyed that entire building next to him? Yeah. I, I wonder if that's been built up yet. Maybe he's moving in there. I don't know. Maybe there's a gym. Maybe there's a gym <laughs> attached to the bar. <laughs> 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 so weird not to be like haven't I haven't been sitting here forever. It's like so weird. Yeah, it's it's been since like the summer, I think. Like I got my last haircut in the summer because it's yeah. been so long. That now I'm like Dalton from uh from Roadhouse. Uh, <laughs> so 
I gotta say, I took some summer rides in the city. Uh, just like these lost days in the heat where I would take a bike ride and I mean, empty. Yeah. Like I drove, I drove directly down almost the entire length of uh, Broadway from 169th street to below 42nd street. And I don't think I left the center lane the entire time. Wow. On like, on like a Sunday, you know? Wow. Kind of crazy. Some, yeah. some, some Omega man shit. You know? Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. I did the, <laughs> and like, I did the New York half, like, uh, years ago, like, uh, I don't know, let's just say five years ago, I think maybe less. And to run like through Times Square and like no one be there, like, they roped it off. But like that feeling to, like, I, um, that was surreal because everything was just like, I mean, there's thanks to the police, but you can just run down and there's no one on the road. And it was just, it was super cool. Even though like, the West Side Highway was, you know, blocked off and you just kind of run like, we're, we're, and then you're always it was just so slow that day it was great like it just made you like, appreciate the city so much more yeah yeah quiet quiet as I was on the quiet side i was like so why did kind i of... do this you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah how much farther oh god are you serious is there a bus I just put, like i just made like, a couple i made a couple mixes and i just like kept i was like no one's it like no no one's story in five years is going to be I ran the New York half at this time and these splits. It was just, I can just say I ran it. Like I finished it. Like that's really, that's the conversation. Yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah. So what, uh, what, any, any, any big plans for 2021? What are we, what are we looking for? What are we hoping for here? When we come back and do this again in, in four years, what, what are we going to look back on? Lots more work. Yeah. <laughs> Everywhere. Just in all, 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 all different things. Yeah. I don't know, I'm I'm always I'm I'm always open for like anything cool sounding. Yeah, yeah. I keep pushing each other with your cards and the, the book, so we'll you know figure that. Yeah, out. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's that's been a little overwhelming. Like, yeah, all the, all these like paper and what bought and bought. I'm like, uh, I'll step back a little bit, but yeah, we'll figure it out. <laughs> I do keep asking people, waiting for something like, oh, I do that all the time. I I make I make coffee table books, and I'm like, uh, but it hasn't come up. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we'll get there. <laughs> twenty twenty one. Let's see. Well, I look forward to being able to uh, go on some sort of vacation. I don't know what that'll be exactly. That would be nice. Uh, no, I, what, like, what's the ideal vacation? Like, what's like if you look back on normal times? Like, where would you go? The ideal vacation usually in the summertime. And um, if there's children listening, I apologize, but. Uh, I usually go spend a week near where my uh, wife grew up in Milwaukee, um, the very, very exotic uh, greater Milwaukee area. Um, Milwaukee. And, yeah, Milwaukee. Yeah. Um, I just like, uh, I go there and just like completely unwind, uh, turn the phone off. Um, a lot of like outside time, which is a rarity in New York. Um, you know, where, like, where's the, where's the part where the kids, where the kids aren't can't listen. What, what do you got? Oh, uh, um, uh, mutual bloodletting. No, um, <laughs> I just do like a. <laughs> I just um, I, I'd say probably like twice a year. I'll just do like a. Uh, I'll just take LSD and just kind of um, get back in touch with uh, the part of my brain that's like not used like in regular yeah. life. Um, so just kind of a, a little ego, little ego dissolution, um, which is which always seems to be very therapeutic and, and uh, energizing afterward. Uh, just kind of feel like reinvigorated uh, for a couple weeks and it feels like way longer. Uh, so that's, so that's good. Yeah. So that's hopefully by like June or July, I'm not really sure. Um, but you do see. it twice a year. I'm intrigued. Like what are the, when is it like it's trip day? Like what's the, like, what's the, like, what's the, so, um, oh, it's so, an actual trip day. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Surprised, alarm yeah, goes I'm, off yeah, I'm surprised there's not like, <laughs> yeah, there's got to be some calendar somewhere. It's like National Acid Day. And then it's like tomorrow's like National Peanut Day. It's like, <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, shit. I missed it. God. Oh. Um, yeah. Um, I, I try to, um, I try to, I basically try to fan it out to like be a, um, a single experience like by myself uh, one time a year. And then, um, with a group of uh, uh, 
like close, like close friends uh, the other time. Um, Cause I, they, those are two different, those are two unique experiences. Um, and I guess the twice a year thing is just that it's not very, you know, contrary to popular belief, it's not, it kind of doesn't really work if you, you know, if you uh, go in that direction a lot, you know, I would say you need probably like, you probably need like a solid six months if you want to um, have like a, uh, an experience like you're used to, I guess. I don't know what that means. Like serotonin it, it, levels. It's, or it's a dessert drug. I mean, yeah. a while. Yeah. Well, yeah. Cause the, yeah, I remember back in the day, folks would, if they did it one day, they would like they did one, they'd have to do twice as much. Like it was a whole thing. Yeah. To, yeah. yeah. You kind of re, get the re, oh, yeah, which was like, no, no, thank you. Yeah. It does stack up. I I'm always, I'm always kind of like, I'm always sort of surprised when people treat it like it's like a, like a party thing. I'm just like, ah, it's not really, yeah, what I use it for you know. I'm kind of like, it's not really. Not I really like I that. like looking at I like drawing with colored pencils. Yeah, like just like color studies. Ah, oh, so, yeah. so pleasant. Yeah, color pencils sound like a great idea, actually. Yeah, yeah. that's my go-to. Yeah, Earl's, Earl's like building the party kit. He's like. <laughs> Yeah, let me take that off. Uh, I have pencils. like a green army bag full of colored pencils. <laughs> yeah. Just, nice. Or, or like, like, like just that thing. thing. <laughs> yeah. 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 How about you guys? Are uh, like 20, 2021, are, are there any like, are there any ride or die kind of thing? Not like New Year's resolutions or anything like that, but sort of like, I, I want to do this this year because of what happened last year. Like, uh, is there, has there anything that, been delayed or mm, del like something yeah, I, mean, you wanna... I, I have like two nephews i haven't really I, like they're infants i haven't i've only seen them like once or twice so like my family's in philadelphia so i'm pretty like, like remote from them so like just logistically like just to pop in for you know a dinner around the jersey shore like just simple things and then also like working i kind of work a lot as you probably guessed and so mm -hmm. um like the idea of like working to live not like living to work and i think it's been it's been a kind of a kind of just being okay with that whole like kind of zen idea of things that like you can always work more you can always do more but like what, what's the end game there like i'd be on the road traveling a bunch for work i probably miss a bunch of cool shit with my kids so like yeah. homeschooling is as bad as they say and it's like they're not here as much but it's also kind of cool because he's he's seven and like we're hanging out and like dad can you help me or whatever and i wouldn't have that if i was like in you know detroit on like a fucking tuesday or something so like that's yeah. kind of cool yeah that's yeah. nice yeah yeah that's uh, uh i was listening to um uh, as a radio a radio interview this morning on uh wnyc and it was like i wonder you know they talk about like the imprint era of like a child mm -hmm. like from not from from Getting, getting up and walking around and like figuring out how things work, uh, you know, th those formative three or four years or whatever, uh, it's, it'll be interesting to see what will happen to kids right now that are like, their, their default, they've been brought into the world default of like, oh, dealing with this pandemic. Um, so the social distance thing, uh, we'll see what yeah. like, we'll see what that does. But in your case, I mean, it, this could be like a reprieve for you and your son where yeah. he's already been imprinted. And then now he like in a shitty, like it's a shitty situation, but he's going to be able to hang out with pops way more, which will probably like in the long, in the long term, like uh, it'll just offer like more of a, more of a connectivity. And, you know, and like, with social anxiety, I'm sure it's helping them uh, a lot more. Yeah. 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 Cause it, it, yeah, it's uh yeah, I think it's good. I mean, his his second grade teacher, whatever she's taken, whatever she, I mean, she's amazing. Every morning, the level of like happiness that this woman has, like I think you guys are great, <laughs> but I'm not bringing the level of like oh, everybody. Yeah. And you can just tell like it would make a great like sketch, like because kids are just like raising their hand and talking, and and she's just like, okay, Johnny, please put your hand down. Yeah. All right, <laughs> we don't need to see your lizard right now. And then today was the first time I heard her be like, we need to talk. Like, and she was like, these things are not acceptable. And I was like, oh, I'm like, all right, she's correct. I was like, I was like, I was psyched. I'm like, yes, 
She's only yeah. 95% perfect. Like it was amazing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I see the, the mask is cracked just slightly. It's making me feel better. Yeah. 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 I'm always, I could hear him like out the door open to make sure he's doing what he's supposed to. And yeah. I'm like, and she's just like, so good to see. Oh, that's so wonderful, Daniel. That's so great. And I'm just like, man, she's bringing it all so day. Positive. Damn it. Well, are they, uh, what's going on? Are they doing like split? Are they doing like split where it's like two days on, three days off kind of a thing or? For two, two on, one off, two. So it's Monday, Tuesday in, Wednesday home, Thursday, Friday in here in Connecticut. Uh, okay. Uh, but that's like evolved. But then with the snow this week, they were home most of the whole week. So like that, this week will throw off like the norms because you can, he's, yeah, it's just like it, it gets you all, all out of whack. And my wife's teaching, she's doing, yeah, so it's like, it's kind of, it's, it's interesting. It's like a good role reversal for us also because I don't realize that like when I travel, like shit just happens and I'm just like, okay, I'm at the hotel, like, and you're dealing with the kids. And so she has to be at school teaching in person. And so I'm like, kind of like just duct taping it all like MacGyver style together and, you know, we'll get through it. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. We don't feel the fucked up things our parents did to us for at least like another decade after it happened. So it's like, <laughs> oh, good. That's true. You get that delay. You can work on your, you can work on your alibi in that in that decade on. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. I, I saved you, a couple you just bucks. Blame COVID. I mean, <laughs> right. I put yeah. a couple bucks into a therapy, you know, jar every day. And it's like it's all good. Yeah. 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 Well, this wouldn't have happened if it wasn't for COVID. Just to let you know. <laughs> really, that I wouldn't have sound like it. <laughs> if it weren't for COVID. So. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, because COVID. That's oh, that'll be the shorthand yeah. later. Right, they'll think you it's know. like a cousin like a, or a person. Like, oh, COVID yeah. really fucked it up. Wait a minute, you went on a three state murder spree and like you started making your own beef jerky in your basement. Well, yeah, because COVID. You know, so, like, I mean, you know, <laughs> things, things COVID. <laughs> How about you, Dan? What's your big? What are you? What are you waiting for? What's the big? What's the big? Uh... I mean, uh, skip. My girlfriend and I have been talking about going to disney world so we can go to star wars uh mm. world so we can have like blue milk she's really excited about blue milk. <laughs> like, uh I, i'm like I, i'm like okay that, i guess that'd be cool but like i don't i don't really care about the blue milk but i do really want to go to the star wars uh section but unfortunately it's in florida so i think i see those people yeah. in florida like at disney world now i'm like oh i'm like i just think less of you as like people like i just kind of like like mass stuff. I'm like, I don't want to do like Disney World's a mess anyway. Like I, yeah. I'll, I'll probably have to go at some point. We want to do the Harry Potter and Universal Studios. And we went to Legoland like years ago in San Diego and they had a whole Star Wars thing. And the largest one was the was the Death Star. And it was like from floor to ceiling, like of your apartment. It was like wow like Death Star. And you could like go up to it and they and they had the room that showed you like where they create them and, and all by hand. Um there's some automation, but it's a lot of done by hand and that was way cooler than I thought it would be. I thought it was going to be really cheesy, mm -hmm. but the whole park was Legos and we stayed at the Lego land hotel, which was pretty dope. Like surprisingly, like I was, I was shocked. Were, were the beds the a little lumpy though? No, but like, but like the light fixtures were, were like, uh, like wherever they could, they made everything Lego. Yeah. And they had in the room, they had like a, like a chest, like a treasure chest that was a Lego and had a lock on it. <laughs> and you got it. And you got a, like a bunch of clues that you would go around and had to find the answers for it. So it would be like five, whatever that was would be to the left and then like nine to the right and then unlocked it and then all these Lego kits and stuff for the kids. It was pretty smart. Oh, that, that's, that's awesome. That's a good, yeah, that's actually a good. Yeah, idea. it was very, and like the, for the room service, like after a certain time, it'd be like milk and cookies. Like they'd like, they'd call you and be like, would you like milk and cookies to your room? And I was like, all right. I didn't think I wanted that, but yeah. That's pretty good. <laughs> Yeah. After a hard Lego, after a hard Lego day, that sounds yeah. Like, in the pool, the, yeah. Like again, that. I'm not. We're not sponsored by any Lego corporation. We're talking yeah. about a lot, but like the pool, you sit <laughs> on a raft and they have like a pop up movie screen from the pool. You just like lay back and watch like Pixar and like other movies. Like it was great. Nice. Yeah, I mean Daniel. I mean, you can talk about it if you want. I don't want to force you, but you're sort of like maniac level. Lego oh, building yeah. over the last oh, couple yeah, months like, and sort of <laughs> like I, I got I got the Batmobile there 89 bat bat wing up there 
<laughs> got all the cars up there. Was that the Ghostbusters car? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that one is sweet. Like <laughs> it's like that based on the it was like a movie. It was supposed to be a movie uh, side by side release, and I just didn't put the rust stickers on it. Um, so it's basically like the old school one, except like it has like a a, a side car that shoots out. It's it's really dope. Like uh, right. like a bla- like a blast. That, bat- that Batman thing that made me nervous. Like on the wall like that. I'm just like, ooh. Yeah, I and uh, I, you I got them. Like, do you have like some glue on that? Like, do you may have- No, no, it's just it's just there. And then I got I got the uh, it's a uh, alien, the alien queen up on it. Oh yeah. wow, nice. Which, which actually isn't Lego. That's uh, the competitor, um, Me- Mega Block. Oh. Yeah. I think you're gonna say Lega or something. Yeah, like those big, the big chunky <laughs> ones for the kids that are like four pieces yeah. that makes it up. Yeah. Oh, Duplo. Yeah, Duplo aliens. Duplo. Right? Yeah, yeah. Well, Duplo is still Lego. It is still. That's yeah. true. Yeah, it's yeah. A scam. Yeah, yeah. Huh. Interesting. I think. Those sneaky well, branders. <laughs> well, boys, I want to first just publicly thank you for being super supportive of what we've been doing since we started, and I just, yeah, I'm just like to be able to catch back up and. You know, love what you guys are doing, and wish we could we got our beers together. But you know, I think this is kind of a fun mm. way to, to get together. We've done it before, which is exciting. Uh, I think you're one of the first guests that we got together, and you know, uh, it was like at a barrier KCBC like tap takeover thing that we did in, in Brooklyn. I remember that. And, yeah, that yeah. So great. just yeah, you guys have both been can't know, wait to go to Covenhoven again. They have uh, clothes, right? Have they closed? Was? I don't know. Yeah, the the. Uh, yeah, Copenhagen is where we met up. Yeah, that was good. That was a good night. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, think we should have... is, uh, is opening back up on March first, which I'm super excited about. That's like one of my go-to bars. Yeah. Well, the one I'm gonna miss. Both. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> no, I was just saying nice things about you. So I'm done with that. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> yeah, I mean, um, you guys. Let's see. Uh, I, I met Dan, I met Daniel Birch and I met Ann Riley before I met my employers, um, in person. Um, wow, so really? you guys, you got, yeah, you, you got, like, I just remember being like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll go to that event. Sure. Um, you know, and then AJ, yeah, same deal. Like just really, really early on. Um, yeah. Like I saw yeah. that first label and I was like, oh yeah, this, this is going to be a sweet brand. Mm. Yeah, so you guys are really, yeah, you guys are really, uh, yeah, you guys are, uh, have been in there for a while. So I'm glad that I have maintained yeah. a connection for sure. Yeah, it was up, yeah, yeah you, Earl, you were episode 36, uh, 2017, November 2017, and Daniel was episode 49 in February of the following year. So it's kind of cool. Sounds, that we're yeah, at sounds like, about right. We're in like one, I think 182, 183 now. So yeah. Me and Daniel are, will be forever under 50. That sounds good to me. <laughs> yeah, the 49 or 49. Yeah. I'll never. Oh. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But live forever. Yeah. Yeah, on the YouTube. Yeah. So, uh, so thank you both. And obviously, if you guys need anything, you know where to find me. But I just wanted to publicly thank you again for, oh, yeah. for being awesome and keep it up. And we'll, we'll get together in person. Yeah, same here. And if you guys ever want to, you know, if you guys ever want to do this again, um, you know, touching each, uh, each other through a piece of plastic. Um, yeah, just let me know and I can set it up. Uh, as you know, I work from home, so <laughs> All right. I'm pretty much available. Yeah, I, I also pay for Zoom uh, too, so, um, and I got a lot of uh, Jackbox games, so. All right, <laughs> count me in. All right, I got a, I, I installed the, I brought my fridge up from the basement, so I have a little office fridge here now, so it's good. Mm. Just in case I get trapped in here, and never have to. Little, yeah, that sounds. Strange. Yeah, that sounds great. That sounds mm-hmm. great. Mm-hmm. Yeah, hell yeah. Got some edibles. I'm good. I'm good to go. Yeah, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks so much. See you Thank guys. you, man. Be safe. Take it easy. Have a good bye.